Hello, I'm back again to try my hand at another game. Uh, today I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning, to the first review that I did of Dungeon Explorer. Now, if you remember, I did say that you go through lives pretty quick in this game if you're playing with a group of people generally, but it can be pretty tough just on your own too. So I'm going to see how far I can make it on one life. And here we go. How many players? I'm just doing one. Uh, well, of course I gotta play the canome. There isn't really much choice. Um, right, I think I have to talk to the king first. He'll give me a couple potions. Not that the gnome can really use the potions very well. I think he just gets like a defense boost for for the healing potion instead of actually healing. And I don't recall what the attack potion does, but I probably won't end up using it anyway. Whoop! Oh, I already used my <laughs> accidentally used my healing my defense potion talking to the guy. Trying to flip through as quick as I could. And here we are at the first dungeon. Oh, Judas. I know you're actually a villain, Judas. Your name gave it away. I think I might be able to go. Pretty long. Whoa! There's a guy stuck in the wall. Ha ha! Oh, I can still kill him though. I think I may be able to get pretty far with uh, in this game, especially if I really take my time. But I don't really want to take my time. I have beaten this game once before with with my girlfriend. She doesn't usually play video games, she just likes some of the really, really old classics like Pac-Man and Mario Brothers. But I did manage to get her to play this one with me, and she enjoyed it. It gets pretty crazy this one later on when you have tons of generators and you have fire spinning out at you in every which direction. And I only have 14 hit points, so really the game isn't too bad until you get to the bosses. You go through lives really quickly fighting the bosses. And I think the only way, I think we beat it last time because we continued a bunch of times because we, we died a lot. But the first dungeon is really easy. Up until the first boss. The first boss I might not be able to finish without dying. Because if I die, it's over. Ah! Ah! Now, the nice thing about this guy is everything he does is on a diagonal, so if you can manage to stay. Ah! Oh. You may have to stay out of the diagonal angles, but still, it's over. Well, I didn't expect to beat the first boss in one life. Not really. Two lives, I could have done it, but not in one. Anyway, that was almost the whole first level of Dungeon Explorer. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.